What's up everyone? My name is Chris, this is B-Minus Demos, and today we're gonna take another look at the Zoom MS50G Plus. Let's get into it. Before I get started, if you're new here, thank you so much for coming to hang out. If you're returning, you are so awesome for watching these videos. I genuinely appreciate it. Look, do the YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave me a comment below and uh, let me know what you're doing today, whatever today is for you. A couple of months ago, I announced that once I got to 500 followers, I was gonna give away this Zoom MSG50, MS50G+. That is a lot of characters strung together. Anyhow, I'm still gonna be giving this away once I get to 500. Uh, I said that I was not going to bring it out and play with it a whole bunch more unless people had questions about it, and I got a couple questions about it. I think one of the questions I got, um, and probably the most things that have come up in person when I've talked to people about this, is the preamp section. Now apparently on a previous version, you could use some sort of uh, IRs on here, um, and this one doesn't, or it does, or you can't, I, I don't know, the internet wasn't super clear when I was looking it up. When I first got this and I was doing my research, I initially believed that there weren't any kind of IRs loaded in here to go with these preamps. <sighs> then when I was getting ready for today, I did some more looking and I noticed that on the website, it says that the preamps were made with multi-layer IRs, which made me think that maybe there are IRs built in. So I got on some forums and I started looking and of course everyone agreed and said the exact same thing. No, nobody agreed. Uh, some people said yes, obviously it has IRs. Uh, some people said no, it doesn't have any IRs. Somebody said that IRs aren't a thing uh, and that it's actually an acoustic box. I don't know, man. Uh, the point is, I don't think it has any kind of cab sim built into it. Now, this is not a video about how the preamps actually sound. Instead, I'm just gonna give an example of what they can sound like if you throw an IR behind them. And then I'm also gonna put my SD-1 in front of it and we'll see how it can affect some of these with a, a little higher gain structure. I've got three preamps that I'm gonna go through. Uh, and then once I get to the last one, I'll kind of scroll through and show you how you can set up your own. Um, listen, this pedal does so much stuff. There's no way I can succinctly go over everything this does. Uh, I do have at least one more video planned for this, but after you guys watch this, if there's something else you wanna know, feel free to ask. Okay, here's the dry signal in, no IRs, nothing, just straight into uh, my interface and then into the DAW. We'll turn the IRs on. This first model, I'm gonna go through each of these. I'll play a couple of chords and then I'm gonna kick in the SD-1 and let you guys hear how that affects it. So uh, this first one, MS-800, based off of Marshall JCM-800. This is uh, orange uh, 120. This one is way quieter than everything else. Still on that vintage 30 cab block. Uh, and then I'm gonna switch over to the orange 412 uh, with the 57. Thank you. 
switch that IR, I'll let you guys hear it. <laughs> definitely has a more orange feel to it. All right. Let me go to the last one. So this is a Bogner Ecstasy Blue are based off of a Bogner Ecstasy Blue. <laughs> now this time, before I kick on the SD-1, we're gonna put a drive in front of it inside the preset itself. So I've got a TS style drive, Tube Screamer style drive here. Let's see what that sounds like. Noisy. It's very noisy. You could throw a noise gate on there. I'm not going to do that right now uh, because this is just kind of an example of some of the preamps. But uh, now we're going to go to the SD1. Again, really noisy. You could put a gate on there. Uh, let's real quick, let's look at how you would actually pull one up. So go into your library, uh, scroll left and right, it brings up the different categories, modulation, delay, reverb, looper, then you've got uh, actual drive sound, so distortions, overdrive, fuzzes, things like that, filters, Compression, so that's probably like dynamics and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll go back here. Let's see, what else is in here? Rectifier, Mark three, Mark one. Here we go. Travel up some. think that's a relatively decent AC30. Um. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of that. Again, this is not really a example of how great they sound because I think they're fine. I don't think they're supposed to be great considering everything that you get for $130. I think it's a little unrealistic to expect everything to be great or amazing. I also think if you spent a little more time with it, you could get much better sounds than I got. I just pulled stuff up, added a little bit of like mid treble and presence, and kind of stuck with one of two uh, cab IRs. I think this is totally usable going straight into your DAW throwing some IRs on, uh, putting it on a pedal board, having an IR loader after it, something like this. Um, this has a, a XLR. You can go straight into a board, you can go straight into an interface, something like that. Um, I think it also, one of the reasons I think there aren't any cabs built into it is because I think it's 
a really decent option to put at the end of a board and then put a power amp after it and run it into an actual cab. You essentially get uh, a, almost an all-in-one rig minus the cab and the power section. So uh, I, I think for the money, $130, I, I think that's really, really incredible. I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find a less expensive option, especially considering that you can build presets with up to six different slots. So you can actually build an entire pedal board with a preamp in this and either, like I said, run it into your DAW, throw it in front of a power amp and send that to an actual cab. You've got so many options here. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Like I said, I know I have at least one more video planned for this based on some questions that I got. You'll have to stick around to see what that is. I hope everyone has an amazing week. Later.